Derek Warren. I'm James Chance. And uh, we're the Commission Promo Team, minus one member here. Uh, we're here with the my man, brother, the middle, Robert the Brown. RJ Brown, photographer, yes. you are How y'all doing tonight? All right, man. Uh, so, uh, what, what is it that you do, man? <sighs> well, I'm a photographer at heart. Um, six years in the game. Um, and I do video. I'm, a, just a, I'm a creator. I should simply put, I'm a creator. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So, uh, how did you come about? Uh, what, what made you want to get into the, into the field? Uh, I actually had a friend of mine who suggested me purchasing my first professional DSLR camera, uh, Nikon D40. And I was in high school at the time, didn't think too much of it, but I fell in love with him having that camera. So I, I talked with my dad, and at the same time, he was actually starting a football league. I made a, a, a deal with him. I said, hey, dad, if you, you can help me with this purchasing this camera, I will, you know, take the pictures for the football league. So, um, I actually partnered up with this guy, uh, Tristan Manning, who's actually in Atlanta now. Um, he and I pretty much just tag team and shot the whole event. And from there, it just took off. It's like I, I figured out that I actually had an eye for photography. And uh, later that year, um, my senior year to be exact, I was part of the yearbook staff. And once I did that, I took about at least 80% of the photos in there, and I just said, you know what, I really got a talent with this. So, yeah, that's kind of like the starting part of RJ Brown. Okay. okay. So, how would you describe yourself as a photographer? Like, what, what most work do you mostly do? Uh, I mean, I'm an overall guy. Uh, I've done a few weddings. I've done endless amount of events as far as, like, social parties. And um, I always do senior portraits and I've lately I've, I got myself into doing a lot of fashion photography. Um, okay. I, I see that we kind of have the outlet or the, the market to actually branch off into doing some more things more in the southern uh, <laughs> region of the uh, United States. Right. Because uh, I know you know you, you hear about New York, you hear about California, you hear about all these these metropolitan cities and, and to say that I, I want to pursue this type of goal here, you know, it's, it's, it's a challenge and it's a risk, but I feel like I'm not doing it alone. You know? Right, right, right. There's a lot of other people that are trying to take off their entrepreneurial. Gotta um, keep grinding. Got to. It's always. It's, it's no days off. So, so what's your motivation? Like, what, what keeps you kicking? You know? Uh, well, I would have to just say that success, overall success. Um, I know where I want to be, I know where I'm at now, and I know there's a lot of work that needs to be done to get there. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not going to be easy. Uh, so what motivates me more is the, is the Lord, you know, knowing that He's there to actually guide me through the uncertainty of being successful or trying to reach success and not sure what I do, what I engage in, how it impacts others. And I try to stay positive. Uh, I'm all about sharing the wealth because I feel like I can't do it alone. Right. So the people that I do photograph or I do things for, I know that if I help them help their uh, uh, their business or whatever they are trying to uh, reach, right. then it's going to benefit me because it's going to also get my name out there. Sowing those good seeds. Right. Sowing the seed, man. That's 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 what it goes down to. Uh, just mainly networking with a lot of individuals, just trying to see what different path I can take to get me to that next level of success. Okay, okay. So, so what is the future of Brown Photography? Ah, the future. Ah, the future looks so bright, but yet it's too bright that I can't see it. Can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Uh, I'm about to graduate a uh, computer information systems degree. Okay, congrats. congrats. Yes, yes, it's ULM. Been... They, they work me hard <laughs> for yeah, it. Man. But, uh... So after that, I, you know, I have I have a lot of different options, and I'm, I really just have to pray on them and actually just see what's going to be the best best position for me to take, because uh, it's, it's my life. And I, you know, a lot of people can tell you you should do this, you can you should do that, but you genuinely have to ask yourself what it is that 
you want to do and what's going to make you happy each and every day so once you get up you don't feel like you're working or you working for somebody else or you know because my thing is I don't want to be working for anybody else I want to be my own boss and I know that is a lot entrepreneurship yes I know that's going to be a lot that is going to entail from that but at the same time it's a challenge that I'm ready to fight right for right. so um yeah future I would love to own my own business as far as I have a lot of different other projects that I don't want to disclose because they're not fully developed yet. Right, but okay. but at the same time, I just I have I have a I'm here for a reason. And I'm destined to figure out what exactly that is. Okay. So just good answer. Good answer. Just keep keep in touch, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so being a part of the ULM student body, uh, what what do you see that needs change or what would you like to be different or if if you could have it RJ's way, you know. <laughs> uh, you don't want to go that way. <laughs> but uh, some of the things that I see that's happening now is when students want to be engaged or have ideals, it's really seldom, it's really difficult, should I say, to get that project up and running and, and make it an actual a nice event. Uh, even when I was planning for my show, you know, it was so much different uncertainty as far as the location, which prolonged the process of me developing what I envisioned for my show to be. And not saying that I won't also have something that everybody will still enjoy, but I feel there are a lot of individuals who have that will, that want to do something, right. and they don't have that outlet. Right, right. So I feel that if we can get it to where more support is there, I mean, overall support. There's, I mean, I, I think what, I don't even know how many students go here, but 9,000 students. Yeah. If I could see 9,000 students at one event, that would be awesome. that's that's my ultimate goal, to right? Because I mean, what what, make, what makes it to where an event can't have that many students? Yeah. I mean, I know we all busy. I know we all have jobs and commitments that we have. But even do even do we? You know, but right, we're still right. we're still chasing that dream. We're not right. we're not losing focus or losing sight of what we truly want to do for the rest of our lives. So yeah, that's that's I think that answers the question. Yeah, I, I would have to agree. With you know man? That's the best way because we're divided, we fall. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so, is there anything that I missed or that you'd like to get out there? Um, not necessarily. I just you know I I I really want this to take off. I really want this to be something that people really understand that these guys are waking up each and every day getting it. Like they're waking up one of their classes. They're doing the necessary things that they have responsibilities for, as far as you know, technical finances and being an adult. Because that's right. one thing, that's one tra big transition that a lot of seniors don't really think about mm -hmm. until they realize, oh shoot, I graduated, I got a degree, but what's next? Right. You know, Sally May ain't waiting that long. <laughs> so she already on my back. Right, and it's just like you know, once you get done with school, what's 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 going to be the next thing? So I think more or less, I want to kind of start something that's going to kind of develop people that, who have an entrepreneurial mindset to have that outlet to be like, okay, I have this idea. Now, I'm not sure if this is the best idea, but it's an idea. Right. And there's a lot of other people that are out there in our generation that actually don't think about having an idea. Yeah. So when it comes agree. to somebody that's actually taking that risk or having that that that, that drive in their heart to actually pursue something, mm -hmm. we, should, we should we support them. Got to. Most definitely. Because they can't do it alone. So, if anything, support. Support. It's the commission dream as well. We're here. Um, so, how can uh, how can your audience reach you, man? Uh, I'm everywhere. Facebook, RJV, RJ Brown Photography on my fan page. Instagram, Refocus. Twitter, Refocus. Uh, if you want to shoot me a personal email, RJVPortraits at gmail.com. I'm on LinkedIn, Robert Brown. Uh, my personal Facebook, Gerard Refocus Brown. Uh, I'm everywhere. I'm trying to be discovered because I'm trying to be famous. So, uh, I'm even on Pinterest. So, yeah, just find me. I'm there. Alright, signing off is Derek Warren, James Tim's Commission Promos, my brother RJ Brown here. It's been a pleasure, man. I get bigger and I gain weight. I stay up late and I oversleep. Lord, nobody likes fat kids. Uh, that's worse than the black kid. And whoever said words on her life.